morning YouTube world this is Jerry coming to you from San Antonio Texas anyway long story short I just want to clear up the difference between a temperature sender and a temperature sensor now back in the 80s and 90s probably in the 80s and 90s late 80s you had a temperature sender and a temperature sensor and a lot of people get confused on which one what does let me clarify a coolant temperature sender it sends the information to your gauge it sends like a envelope or a postcard or whatever you want to call it to your sensor to your uh, temperature gauge so you know what your temperature is so you look at your gauge and that's what affects that now there's other factors that affect that uh, grounds such and everything else but that's usually you can test those also now coolant temperature sensor that is a sensor it senses what the temperature is and it is sensitive and if you think about it being sensitive it is sensitive and it tells the computer because it's sensing the computer needs something to sense what the temperature is so it can actuate your fuel trims so it can actuate whether it's dumping fuel uh, and all that now how it works on a coolant temperature sensor is it senses uh, the temperature range now that could be affected by your uh, thermostat that could be affected by a coolant leak uh, a lot of factors in that um, a bad dirty radiator such but anyway it senses that it sends that to the computer the computer says hey wait a minute well I'm not at operating temperature I'm cold therefore I'm a dump fuel to warm up the motor I got a dump fuel meaning that if your coolant temperature sensor is bad or is reading wrong or reading colder then your computer will actuate that it will dump fuel therefore your fuel economy goes to crap it is one of the major important sensors and is one of the cheapest to repair now usually you've got a million pulse widths uh, on a sensor on a coolant temperature sensor uh, which would average out to about five to seven years depending on driving habits it's always wise to change a fifteen or sixteen or twenty dollar part over a five or seven year span it's not going to kill you to do it um, but if it's reading hot if your coolant temperature sensor is reading hot then what happens is it it leans the fuel condition which could be actually catastrophic over the long term now uh, it leans it out it might run you know it might sputter um, there's a lot of other factors and it does a lot of crazy things with different manufacturers but all in all change your sensors every five to seven years a lot of people say if it ain't broke don't fix it and you know because if you do start messing with the plugs and the wires and they're kind of brittle and they start breaking then you start having more problems um, possibility but the rule of thumb is start changing your sensors out even if you replace your motor uh, replace your sensors update them update the plugs make sure your plugs are in good condition but your sensor just to clarify and in short coolant temp sensor is computer actuated it tells the computer the computer says hey this is what I need to do I need to dump fuel to warm up or I need to lean it out uh, because it's hot so I'm gonna lean it out so I don't have to use as much fuel if that one sensor is off it will cause major issues runability issues down the road uh, even starting issues and problems depending on manufacturer the sender is just for you it's just to let you know what the temperature is so you can keep track of that a lot of times just make sure you clean the ends or make sure the plugs are in good condition um, sometimes it's a bad ground but a lot of times it doesn't hurt to spend ten dollars twelve dollars to replace it hope this helps clarify sensor sensor is computer sender is the gauge now 
just real quick, the newer cars, newer vehicles, like 2010s, 2015s, 2020s, they kind of incorporate, they have more than one, and they do multiple feedback, meaning one will send one to the gauge, and it will also tell the computer at the same time. So the newer the vehicles, the more complexity it is. Um, on the older vehicles, they had two separate, one of each, that would use to the gauge, which is the sender, and one to the sensor, which goes to the computer. Newer vehicles today have multi-function, meaning it sends it to the gauge and to the computer. I hope this helps. Verify and know and don't just throw parts and stuff at it. Good luck. Peace.